Welcome everybody, today let's dive into the how to use Looks for Shopify, a popular photo review application that can help you boost trust and increase sales into your Shopify store. So let's explore how to set up this effectively. If you don't have an actual Shopify store, I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so you can all get started with an actual great store totally for free. So now what you want to do the first step is to install the Looks directly into your Shopify store. So first you need to add the looks inside the Shopify store. So go into your Shopify administrator panel. As you can see, we are into the home section. And then what you want to do is to click into the option that says applications. Here into apps, I'm going to just look out for this actual search bar and click into add an application. Here I'm going to just go for L double O K. And here you can see that we have the looks product review application. So Looks offers you an actual free trial, so you can test it before committing to an actual subscription plan. Then later on, it's going to be for from nine dollars per month. If you're okay with that, we'll go for it, making the installation. Once the look is installed, it, you're going to be needed to configure its actual settings. Just wait a few seconds till the application is now installed into your actual dashboard and you might be seeing that it appears here into the left part of the actual looks. So what I wanted to do of course is to choose this element that says pinned to your navigation bar and we are now inside the actual looks free trial. If you're switching from another review application or if you already have reviews collected elsewhere, looks allows you to import this directly into your new system. So what you want to do is to navigate to the settings into your look dashboard and here into the settings what you want to do of course is to import the reviews. But first of all, first of all what I wanted to do is good to make sure that we can just install the looks directly into our theme. So let's go here where it says add looks to your theme. This one should be sending us into the editor of our online store. So what you just need to do is to make sure that the app and beam is enabled here and then let's go here into save. As you can see, we have now saved this correctly. Let's go back directly into the editor and the script has now been installed. Now, if you wanted to import existing reviews, what you wanted to do is to go directly here into the actual setting dashboard. And here what you can do is to follow the importing or the integration stuff that appears into the reviews. And here what you want to do is to just drag the import looks button to the looks mark and of course click into the import to the list and then you're actually good to go. Now let's customize the review this place that we already have directly into our products. As you can see, we do have the actual new looks reviews. Here, if I click into the reviews, we're going to be reimagining new reviews that we can add. Review the request in time, discount for the photo BD reviews, uh, video, emails, manual review forms, and custom questions. Into the referrals, the referrals are, let's say, to add a little bit more money directly here into the looks and into the upsell. This is going to be helping you to offer an additional product when it's rating and reviews after checkout to increase an order value. This is something if you wanted to, let's say, sell like a bundle of more than just one product. So what I'm going to be doing here is to make sure that we can just add directly the looks into our store. I'm going to go into my actual editor. I'm going to head directly into my home section and look out for just one product. Let's say, for example, the first one that I do have here available. Now, as you can see here, I have a wish list and add to cart. I have the buy it now button. And down here, I should be having the actual looks elements directly here. So if I go directly inside sections into template, I choose applications. And here, what you can do is to add a card carousel, gallery carousel, on site for a widget, product review widget, rating widget, and so much more. Let's add the trust batch. And you should be seeing this in here. I'm gonna just move this, let's say like this, and you can see we have zero reviews powered by looks. If I add a new block, let's say for example the rating widget, check out how it's actually looking up here in here. So this actual rating will be putting this directly into the title. So you're gonna just move this and drag and drop and see how it actually appears into my store. So then what I want to be doing here is to make sure that this one has now been saved it and you have added this directly into a product template so this product template has now been assigned to 21 products and this element should be added into all the whole uh, store products now i'm going to view my store and i wanted to assume that i wanted to create an actual review so this one should be posted directly into our store if you go into home reviews inside collect reviews you can just manually review requests for example here the email address the email subject and sending the email for somebody who has just 
let's say make a purchase and then you can receive an actual review of the purchase that you just made. This is to maximize the effectiveness of looks. So you wanted to actively encourage your customers to leave photo reviews of your actual main products. So this process by sending follow-up email after purchases. So consider offering incentives like discount or entries into giveaways for customers who submit a photo review. So they can be helping you to, of course, boost their reviews. And lastly, guys, what you wanted to do is to customize review displays. So if you wanted to customize how the review will be displayed into your product page and they threw out your store, look to offer the several widgets and display options such as the review cursor, the site drawers, and the pop-up. You can locate all of those directly into the web pod of the actual looks application and check out the setting. Go into branding, general appearance. So you can see we have our logo, our coordinate radio, the rating icon, the color of the rating, the widget fund, and the looks branding. So if you wanted to change though, all those elements, just upload the new elements you wanted to see into your store, like the logo, and there we go. Even you can actually edit the email appearance when you are actually starting to sell requests to your customers. And there you actually have it, guys. A really easy way to get started and maximizing, uh, let's say, email templates, product reviews, and so much more elements directly using the actual looks. So this can significantly help in boosting your conversion rate, guys. And there you have it. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Shopify tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.